Hey guys, I'm Jimmy Fee. I'm the editor of On The Water Magazine. Uh, I'm just heading out on my lunch break right now and I'm actually uh, gonna be filming what's, what's gonna be a regular feature on the On The Water YouTube channel and that's gonna be called Lunch On The Water. So, so pretty much any given day at the On The Water office, somebody is going out and they're doing some fishing during their lunch hour. And where we're located in Falmouth, Massachusetts, We've got a pretty impressive variety of fishing that we can do just, you know, during our hour break from saltwater in the summer and spring to uh, freshwater all year round. Uh, today, it's the first real snowstorm we've really had on Cape Cod, and I'm heading to a little brackish water pond to look for white perch. got here so right there you can see that's a saltwater marsh that uh, it's just a little creek and at the head of it is that pond we're gonna fish as soon as I can unfreeze my door so you don't really need waders for this spot you can actually get away with just you know just deck boots I'm gonna kick off my uh, work shoes and put them on it's actually pretty shallow at least right near the bank so you know you don't really need to go over about shin deep just enough to get out from under the trees small box of spinners uh, some jigs some small swimming plugs it's pretty much all you need I've got a jig tied on that's what I do best with uh, when I fish here with Eddie he does really well with spinners He's caught a lot of his biggest perch on spinners, but I like fishing the jigs. I think that the best shot at a real big one is going to be with a jig. And I'm hoping it's not skimmed over, otherwise it's going to be a real short trip. It's not looking good. It's not looking good for open water here. Looks like we were just one day too late. Although, I don't know, there's a little, can't tell if that's ice or just slush. If it's just slush, oh, I don't know. I don't know if this is gonna work. Maybe it'll work. It's worth making a couple casts. Be pretty cool if we could pull some perch through this slush. Oh, of course, in order for that to happen, we're gonna need our jig to not be right on the surface. All right, so we're not off to a great start. It's kind of getting worse. <laughs> need to somehow punch this jig through that little bit of slush out there. It's not totally frozen. Now that, yep, that sank. I mean, white perch will be real active under the ice. It'd be pretty wild to catch one like this. Maybe I'll put on a little spoon. tell you're getting desperate to do some fishing when you're doing this. So I know this jig's getting under the ice a bit, but I just don't know how deep. I'm gonna switch over this little marabou jig and put on, put on a little cast master.
All right. Let's try this again. Let that sink a bit. Oh, there's a little swirl right there. Okay, so far not so good. There's the cast ma that is the cast master right there, skipping across the surface of the ice. Definitely seems like that part of the pond there has a little bit thicker layer of slush than over here. So that one seems like it dropped right through for us. It's starting to feel pretty goofy. No, no way. We did not. We did not just pull white perch through this slush. Well, it's like a white perch. <laughs> well, we got one. We got one. He's not the big ones I was talking about, but uh, given the conditions, I think I'll, I'd be happy with just about anything I could catch. And we proved it works. So we're gonna punch this through the slush back over there. And it was just a real slow retrieve kind of bouncing this. Because I don't know, I don't have a lot of experience trying to fish through the ice like this. Like I said, we have a pretty good variety of fishing right close to the on the water office. So I'm sure we'll be able to find some stuff through the winter and we will definitely be able to find some good fishing starting about March and February once all the bass ponds start to really heat up. The spoon looks good. I've been jigging it mostly, but I'll try a cast where I'm going to let it sink and then just do a straight retrieve, just like that. I think this pond's freezing as we stand here. I'm gonna get frozen into it. All right, I'm gonna call this the last cast, unless I get one. I know it got down into the teens last night, which is probably why this place froze. Because it is brackish water, but it's not full salt water. Oh, there we go. There's another one. It's another white perch. White perch through the ice, but not really through the ice, through the slush. Another little guy, but Still, you know, like uh, Eddie likes to say, you know, anytime you can go fishing, it's a good time to go, especially if you can catch a little something. All right, that was the second perch. Let's try for three. I think I said that was going to be my last cast unless I caught one. Real, real slow retrieve. Got it. Oh, there was another one. We're starting to crack the code a little bit. We're going to go ahead and give this one more cast because I'm getting cold. Right out there in the sweet spot. Let's go ahead and let that sink. again.
Again, they're not real big, but if you can get it to them, they're aggressive at least. Another little guy here. Sorry, buddy. Just brought him through the slush. All right, so we're getting some more hits, casting right out there, letting it sink and just doing a slow a jigging retrieve, just like that. Oop, that was one. There he is. There he is. And so they're biting. I mean, there's a layer of slush on this pond. I had to switch to a cast master to get through it. But we're still catching some fish. Layer of slush ice. Oh, another little guy. So I got him underneath, but I'm sure he took a swipe at it. There he goes. All right, well, that wasn't quite the fishing I was hoping to show you guys there. Uh, but even with some slush on the water and a little layer of skim ice, we managed to catch a couple perch. So uh, it wasn't a total failure for the first launch on the water. And uh, truth be told, if I wasn't trying to film this, I probably would have just uh, gone right to the pizza place and got myself a fresh slice. But anyhow, thanks for checking this out. We're hoping to post one maybe not every week, but maybe every other week. Just showing you some of the lunch break fishing we do uh, right around Cape Cod.